This is Fun Fun Function, a Monday morning show where we try to become more excited and confident about programming by exploring old wisdom, wild ideas and having fun. Some viewers, a few, have commented on the fact that I like to omit uh, semicolons from my JavaScript. Instead of writing the same comment over and over again, I'd like to talk a little bit about that today. Let's get one thing straight here before we continue. I do not recommend that you omit semicolons, nor do I recommend that you should use them. I will love you just as much if you omit them, like GitHub does, or if you use them as terminating statements on every line, like we do at Spotify. If somebody tells you that it is a general best practice to use semicolons in JavaScript, that person is uh, lying. There is no central authority setting best practices for JavaScript. Best practice, that's what you and your team decides is best practice. So what do you base that decision on then? Well, a lot of teams prefer to use semicolons just, well, because it's what they ended up doing. The team needed a consistent rule for using semicolons or not, and they just opted for using them. I think that is a perfectly valid reason. Consistency is very nice and important. Other teams might use semicolons because uh, they might be switching a lot between a C codebase and JavaScript codebase, and uh, having semicolons makes the switch less jarring. And that's an okay reason too, in my book. Context switching is expensive, and if we can make that easier, then that's a good thing. By now, you should have sensed that there is a big hairy but coming up here. But, in my opinion, there is one invalid reason for using semicolons. And it is unfortunately also a very common one. And that is because there are a lot of people, well-meaning people, going around spreading misinformation and fear, saying that using semicolons protects you from errors related to automatic semicolon insertion. We will call those people wrong. So, in case you're new to JavaScript, the language has this feature called automatic semicolon insertion, often referred to as ASI. Automatic semicolon insertion does what it sounds like it does. If you don't add a uh, semicolon at the end of a line, the interpreter will simply add one for you while parsing your code. Mostly this works, but sometimes it results in some very nasty errors, uh, like this one. Uh, this is usually one of the first ones that you run into when you start coding JavaScript. Uh, the first function here will return 4, while the second one will return undefined. And that is because the interpreter will interpret the code uh, by adding semicolons, like this. Do you see how sinister this is? Almost everyone agrees that automatic semicolon insertion is a stupid feature. It should not be in JavaScript. It, it is a super dumb feature. Related to this, there is a very common advice given, and that advice is that you should not rely on automatic semicolon insertion. And to me, that, that advice, it, I, I don't think it makes sense. It would be perfectly good advice if the automatic semicolon insertion could be turned off. But it can't be turned off. The ASI is there. It's, it's there to stay. It's in the interpreter. It's in the standard. And it's going to try to help you and do its stupid things all the time. Giving this advice kind of implies that you can get rid of it somehow and dodge it, but you can't. Let's take a look at the last function, the one with the ASI error, but uh, here we have added a semicolon at the end, you know, like, correctly. And this will still return undefined, because the interpreter will just do this. The semicolon will not help you. Adding semicolons everywhere will not absolve you from thinking about the ASI, not at all. This is JavaScript. It's a great little language, but the ASI, that's one of its warts. And you're going to have to deal with it. You cannot semicolon it away. 
as a JavaScript programmer, you cannot be absorbed of your responsibility to constantly think about the ASI just by adding a semicolon rule to your linter. The only situation where having uh, semicolons everywhere will save you from an ASI error is when you begin a line with a parentheses or a square bracket. By the way, uh, this example was sent to me by uh, Thodoris. Uh, he is he's this brilliant Greek man working at Spotify, and he disagrees with me vehemently on this issue. Uh, you should really follow him on Twitter at uh, 72 Lions. He's awesome. As you see here, uh, the result is just unimaginable garble. Uh, I'm not even sure exactly how this is messed up, but adding a semicolon at the end of the first line, like this, will actually change the execution of the code completely. And that is square brackets, uh, but it's the same thing when you start a line with a parenthesis like this. And that will be evaluated as this. Beginning a line with a square bracket or a parenthesis are the only cases that I know of where adding semicolons uh, will save you from ASI errors. All the other possible ASI errors will still hit you even if you add semicolons everywhere. You're basically adding a character to every single line in your code base in order to protect you from this case. And in my personal experience, this is just not one of the common ASI errors. And when it arises, it's often quite obvious what has happened. Again, I have nothing against people using semicolons. I just have a problem with people saying that it's a tool to protect against ASI errors, because it is a terribly bad tool for protecting against ASI errors. Only learning how ASI works will protect you from ASI errors. By all means, use semicolons for consistency, or just because your team likes it that way because it's more C-like, or just because you like how it looks or find it more readable with semicolons. But don't buy into the religion that it absolves you from thinking about automatic semicolon insertion. That is just a false sense of security. The ASI is always with you, and you as a JavaScript programmer will always need to be vigilant, no matter if you add semicolons or not. I have one more thing to say, but I uh, I need to show you this. Isn't it awesome? I don't know if you can see it, but this this is um, this is an old cross stitch, and this is LeChuck from Monkey Island made with the fusible plastic beads. This is so awesome. This is made by Papa's Palu, uh, and I'm a huge fan of him. This video is running a bit longer than I would like it to, but I I just want to finish up with one more thing because. I feel it's important. This semicolon thing is an incredibly common comment on my videos. Even on videos where there is a obvious bug in my code, there are more people commenting about the lack of semicolons than the bug. I, I think it's kind of important in, um, in the workplace and, and on the internet too, to before, before raising an issue, to ask yourself Will raising this issue actually add some value? Or am I raising this issue just because it's really easy to have an opinion about it? And I know that it is very ironic to say this, considering that I made an entire video about this issue, but this issue, semicolons or no semicolons, is not important. Mandatory code review, that is something that is important. Error logging is important. Continuous integration, that is important. Semicolons, hmm, not so much in the grand scheme of things. That's all I had to say. As usual, the next episode will be out next Monday morning, GMT time. Don't miss out, subscribe, and until next Monday, stay curious.